Good afternoon, y'all. I'm going to try not to make this too long because I'm not in the mood right now. I just wanted to come out here and share this. I talked about it in therapy, but it's really fuck with me. It's going to be fuck with me for a while. So, basically, y'all, my ex, which is crazy because I was just talking about this relationship a couple of days. My last video, I mentioned it in my life update that I was still healing and I feel like this what just happened brought me back to level like square one of healing I feel like I'm starting all over again and I'm mad as hell cause I was making some progress but I feel like that all went to shit like we weren't we haven't we never got back together after we broke up but we were still friends um, not like friends with benefits or something, just friends. Um, cause we attempted that, didn't work out, and we were just sticking to being friends. But this person expected me to hold them down in the same way that I held them down while we were together. And yes, I did that for six months out of the kindness of my heart because I genuinely still cared about their well being and I wanted them to be okay. But they were just using me for that, for the uh, so resources, to help them with shit, to be there for them in different situations, like, and I would never get the same in return. The, la the last thing I asked them, not even wasn't for anything, it was to um, move this mini fridge I have because I'm borrowing it from my college. I don't own it and I have to return the microwave because I'm moving out in a few days, so I have to give it back. It's like a lending program. Um, so I didn't have to lug a fridge all the way from home. So I just got one from their program. And she was supposed to help me move it back. I, like, I, help me move it down the stairs because it's, it's heavy. I can't move that shit back by myself. That was supposed to be today. She was supposed to be here today to do that. She decided to come on Saturday all last minute and shit. And I was like, okay, whatever. I'm just going to be doing my work. Because it's finals. And... She basically was plotting to steal money from me because she kept asking me for money, money, money. And I kept saying, no, 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 because I was getting tired of the shit. And I know she's talking to somebody new, which is fine. That's not the issue. The issue is that you expect me to still provide for you when you quote unquote have a man that she weren't even going to tell me about. I had to find out from one of my other dear friends. And I'm very glad that she came and told me Um because she felt like I should know. And she, I agree with her. If I, if if it's not that it's my business, it's that if I'm still doing stuff for you in that in that regard, I, sh I have a right to know that because you know how I feel about that kind of thing. I'm not going to keep doing that. It is a man that you should be getting shit from. If I'm not the man you're going to be with, you can't be getting shit from me and have a man on the side. That don't make no sense. So... She was getting mad about that. Oh, I don't have this. I don't have that. Yada, yada, yada. I asked this person. I asked this person. Da, 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 da. Did she or did she not? I don't fucking know. Did she allegedly ask this person who she claims to be her man? She may have. She may have not. I don't fucking know. I don't believe shit that come out her mouth no more. So, but you can sit and chat it up with this nigga on the phone while you're in my domain. And I'm expecting you to still be here today so you can help me. You could have left right after. Fuck being around each other. That's the only thing I asked you to do. I barely have ever asked you for anything, even when we was together. Because I was holding it down. Well, when we were together, when we weren't together, when we got back together, when we broke up again, it was me. And you just took advantage of that shit. And I had some money here. Um that I had not deposited in my account. I had some money here that I had secured in the location because it's like, I'm not just gonna have money just out like that. And you decided to take it upon yourself to steal the shit while I was out of the room. I went, I told you I was gonna do some work and you, 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 I should have, I should have caught on to that shit. How cool you were with me just leaving like that. I was going to another building to work in one of the empty classrooms. I'm trying not to get mad over again. Cause I keep, every time I think about it, it's like, um, you took the advantage while I was in the classroom doing work. Gonna text me 
oh, can I have five dollars for my transcript? I'm like, okay, a transcript is important. I know I already knew the transcript situation because you couldn't find the one they had sent you um, for the, some of the programs you were trying to apply for. So I sent you that. Then you send me a random text partially checking on me, allegedly checking on me. Then you're going to be like, oh, I'm going to take a nap. Please don't disturb me. It was so out of the way she worded it. It's so weird. So I started to call her because I was like, at the same time, I remembered I had to defrost the fridge. And there was just a few things left in there that I was like, I'm not going to eat it. So I was just going to ask her to throw it out, unplug the fridge, then I'll wipe it down when I get in. That's it. I called her twice. She kept canceling my call. And be like, oh, I'm on the phone. And I was like, she's probably talking to him. So I just was like, I texted her. You could talk to him after I say what I have to say. That's all I fucking said. Then my shit stopped delivering. So she blocked me. So I came over here like, okay, you're not about to block me and be chilling in my... If you're going to do that, you can go. Come to find out, I come to my dorm. She's gone. And something told me to check where I had the money hidden at. So I go and check my where I had it in. I had it within a bunch of shit. So she was really going searching for shit to find it. Because it wasn't just out there. And I wish if the system had let me put more, I would have had it all in my card. And this wouldn't have even happened. But she went in through my shit. She went through my shit. Took all the money. And left. And took my, my slides that she had given to me. When she already has the slides that she took from me. And they took those slides too. And I just, I was so, li I can't even explain how angry I was. It's like, fuck the money. I'm about to start working again within the next week or two, because now that school's ending, I'm going to go back to work. I can make that money in one, not one shift, but one check. Not like, e not even one check. I could get that within a couple of shifts. I'll have the money back. The money is not the problem. It is the principle that you stole from me. After everything I've done for you, holding you down, whatever you needed, I had you. Whatever the fuck you needed. But you're the most ungrateful, most evil person I've ever come across in my life. No, just heartless. Just heartless. That you could do that with no shame and just leave like that and block me on everything. And be cool with yourself. Like it's nothing. And then you got the audacity to be going on live a couple of days ago. I don't ask nobody for money. I don't do shit. Stop spreading. La, da, la, la. And that's exactly what you're doing to me. You ain't never had a man like me. And you never will have a man like me. Ever. Again, in a, a day in your life. It's not happening. The karma that's coming your way for this shit. I hope. Somehow I find out about it. Because. You deserve the worst. For that shit. The worst. For that shit. That is some devil like type shit. You you on something for real. And I don't mean drugs. I just mean mentally something is not right with you. To be able to do some shit like that. And be okay with yourself. I don't care what the fuck we went through. We both did shit that was wrong to each other while we was together. Our relationship was toxic. It was better for us not to be together. Well, for you to keep going out of your way to do shit when I was just helping you all this time, it's insane to me. When I didn't have to do that, when you would insult me, do this, disrespect the fuck out of me, like, I was still helping you. I was still making sure you were okay. I was still worried about you. When you was in the hospital, I was in the bed with you, the hospital bed with you. From 11 a.m. to 11 p.m., I was there the entire visiting hours. I did not leave your side. The loyalty I had for you is unreal. You're not going to find that ever again in your life. And if you ever somehow come to terms with this shit and try to reach out, I'm not going to be trying to hear nothing. I blocked your number for the first time. I blocked your number. I'd never done that before. All the times you blocked me and then you would unblock me and be able to just call me and shit. I blocked your number. I blocked your text now. I couldn't block your social medias because you blocked me on those already, so it's not going to pop up. But I would have blocked you on those two. Because it's done. It's finished. You got your little money, cool. Your little phone bill is $200 a month. $200. You still owe T-Mobile hundreds of dollars. 
So we're going to see how far that little bit of money takes you. We'll see. It ain't going to do shit. You got your little money, cool. Kumbaya, as you like to, we'd, we'd always like to say, kumbaya. But it's only going to last so long. This little high you finna be on for this little money you took. It's going to, it's going to, you're going to come back down. You're going to come back down. Even if life seems like it's going to be okay for you a little bit, it's going to be even 10 times worse than it's already been. It's coming for you. Whatever it is, it's coming. The universe sees all this shit. It's going to bless me and punish you. Because I held it down. I was a loyal ass motherfucker to you. No, no matter how many ways you spin it, I was there for you. And you didn't deserve it. And you treated me like shit. You used me, you got what the fuck you wanted, and you tossed me to the side like I never meant anything to you. And I don't know if that's some shit I could get over. It's to the point I'm zero. I, I, it's, not, it's not even a relationship thing, but it just reminded me how I'm not interested in nobody in that way. I don't mind some casual something as long as we're both on the terms and it's casual. I don't mind having friends. I don't mind being cool with people. But as far as their relation, this shit scarred me so bad. Because you don't have any kind of heart for real. Like, you're really a heartless person. Like, you have no type of soul. You're evil. You're one of the devil's children. And I think it's funny as how that you go, you you go to church so fucking, but you don't, you're not a real Christian or nothing, none of that, none of that shit. Fake as fuck. You are not one of God's children, not of, one of my, not of my eyes. At all. You ain't shit. Pathetic. You're scum. You're a piece of shit. And you always will be a piece of shit. I can't even, like, it's the betrayal for me. I'm so disgusted. Like, I'm hurt, but I'm so disgusted by your behavior. And I had, clearly I had a lesson that needed to be learned, but damn. Yeah, the way I'm not going to be trusting nobody is insane. Like, it's, it's that's how it's really about to be. It's going to be work, my summer classes. Once they send me my net ID, I can register for them. Figure out how I'm gonna get my little loan for the summer, for my classes, get my credit score up, things like that, get better in myself, my transition. And as far as surgeries, I'll have some support when it's time. I know I will. God will, will see to it that I'm not alone, since you were supposed to be the person who's gonna be there for me through my surgeries. The way I was there for the surgeries, I was there for while we were together. But it's cool. Karma's gonna come on and bite you in the ass. And that shit's gonna be funny as fuck. It's gonna be funny as hell. And I hope I'm there to see it. I really do. But I just find out about it or some crazy shit because that's you need that shit to happen to you. The universe and karma don't skip nobody. You will get what you deserve. You will reap what you fucking sow. And the shit you just, yo. The shit you just sowed. There's no coming back from that. You're a horrible ass person. You're a bitch. And every other motherfucking name in the book. And I want absolutely nothing to do with you. Ever again. Ever. And I hope the way that she would unblock your exes. Or the ones you decided to try and friend and follow and shit. I hope that you try that shit with me. And you can at least see what I'm doing. Because I'm going to do some amazing shit. There's a lot of good shit coming up for me. A lot of good shit. And I hope you see it on you sit there and you sit there irritated and mad. I hope I hope you see how good I'm doing. And you sit there like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I, I suck for real. He didn't deserve that. I shouldn't have done him like that. You're full of shit. That money you took got blood on it now. You're full of shit. And I'm just done. I've just done, nobody come to me with no relationship, nothing. It's not happening, right? At this point in time, it's not happening. It's not. She broke me in that department, and I'm, frankly, I'm quite okay right now. There was some chill shit, and we just friends or whatever, okay, but anything beyond that, no. I'm just telling y'all that now. I do not have an enemy to be anyone's boyfriend, man. Whatever, I can't do it. 
I have a lot of healing to do, and I just went back down to square one, so. So I'm going to ask y'all if y'all could pray for me, because I really need it right now. I didn't, like, cry today or anything. I mean, I woke up a little bit emotional, but yesterday I was really torn up and mad and angry and just hurt, and I just didn't understand if she just didn't like that I said you could talk to him after, like, it just didn't make sense the way it happened. It didn't make sense to me. It, with the only and it's like all the shit that she gave me the picture for the last time we went to um bbqs i ripped it up into shreds i threw it out any articles of clothing she gave me i'll be donating them because i know they're going to get cleaned and all that they're not just going to give them away to people like that so it could wash all her negative energy away her coat is on the floor right now these pants that i'm wearing i'm gonna i'm gonna make sure i got replacements of all those and throw out everything she's ever given me the skateboard I would donate it. That bottle, I'm just throw out. Anything that it reminds me of her, it's going in the garbage. If it's not in an article of clothing or something that someone could use or benefit from, I don't want any reminder of her. I deleted every single picture I still had left of us or her. It's gone. She's blocked on on her. Both of her numbers are blocked, and I'm done. I'm going to be hurting from this for a long time. I'm really trying to keep my head up, but it's hard. It's hard. But I, I have to keep going. One day I'm going to wake up feeling okay. One day this shit's not going to hurt the way it does right now. One day I'm going to have a special woman in my life that generally will care about me the same way I will care about them. I know it's going to happen one day. And I'm going to be happy one day. And I'm not going to give a fuck about her anymore but it takes time healing takes time but she oh my god i'm tired y'all like this kind of shit is like it's too much i didn't deserve that i didn't deserve that i just i didn't deserve it but that's all i had to say y'all not the happiest of videos i wasn't gonna record another thing while i'm still here in a dorm but this just happened yesterday and i just had to share with y'all because i let y'all know whatever's going on y'all this journey with me we're on this journey together so when some shit go down y'all finna know about it if y'all want a more in-depth story time of our relationship i could do that at some point because the first one i made um i took it down because there was some stuff i didn't want in there and also we had gone live about each other and shit and we both would be to take the lives down so i don't have that either but i'll do an in-depth proper story time for y'all um eventually but yeah it's gonna take me a while to get over this but i appreciate everyone who reached out to me yesterday who knew about it i was talking to about it i appreciate my homies from my job that i used to work with i was on facetime with y'all until like midnight and y'all really got me out of my funk yesterday it's a day by day process but y'all brought me down because i was really up there like i was on 10 so i just want to pre I, I i just want to thank y'all for that for being there for me for making me laugh for sharing some of your own experiences you know so i don't feel i was alone and shit like i i appreciate y'all y'all really y'all never fail to uh, put a smile on my face um, no matter what I'm going through. So I just want to thank y'all. From the bottom of my heart. That meant a lot to me. That I texted and y'all was there. I, I appreciate that. I appreciate that a lot. But um, And everybody else who reached out. Who I spoke to. All my friends. I thank y'all. Thank y'all. Um, but I'll be back soon. Um, just documenting a little shit. I'm going to practice doing at-home school vlogs since I'll be doing my online classes. I'm just waiting for them to send me my net ID because that's the college that's in my county, so it won't be as expensive for these two classes. I just didn't want to have to go out of county. So God willing, I get into the classes that I wanted and at least just get two classes out the way so I can move forward with everything because, uh, you know, despite all this shit, despite, ooh, despite all this shit, I have to keep going. But thank y'all. Thank y'all for listening to me as always. Thank y'all for being in the comments. I read them. I appreciate y'all. Y'all mean a lot to me. 
Um, but I want I want to grow this channel. Maybe that's another hobby I really need to like focus on. Look, give a bit more attention and love to get an intro again, get an outro video again, and all that. I'm trying to find positive ways to distract myself. Like I'm gonna be working, but working can get to be stressful. Like yes, I I am grateful that I have the opportunity to make money in an easy way. But sometimes, oh good, they just see they just emailed me, so I'm about to register for my classes today, y'all, for my summer classes. So I'm excited. Um, yeah, but please keep me in your prayers, y'all. I need some, I need a little bit of help uplifting my my energy, my vibes. But my friend who's on the way right now, shout out to you. You're the man. Whenever I reach out, you're always there for me, and I appreciate you. Um, and you know a lot of the stuff I went through with this person, so I just appreciate you for always being there um, and coming to help me with some stuff as I'm trying to move out. I appreciate you to the max. Um, but yeah, I, even if just random blogs, which I seem to be cool with whatever I post, so I'm like, if I go home, yeah, I, I moved out today, you know, just random stuff like that, just to get content out there, you know. I don't want to overthink it, just something show. I record my summer classes, you know, random stuff at home. When I come back here, um, bits and pieces in the fall of vlogging in public. It's kind of not something I feel kind of awkward doing right now, but I feel like it's something I want to I wanna do more because I think school vlogs are cute. I watch them all the time of other people in different schools, not the one I'm in. I did watch like people's dorm tours and stuff, but that's about it. But if I hook up my dorm the way I want to in the fall, I'll do a video about that. I want to get LED lights and shit, but I used to get new ones because the ones I have died. But yeah. But I'm gonna I'm gonna add y'all to this road of healing I'm on, and just try and be in a better place each time I upload, and get back to the way I was before I met this person, this motherfucking narcissist son of a. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll talk to y'all soon. Have a blessed day, y'all.